Good morning, students. On today's lecture, I'll cover 4037 at Maths question paper, question, uh, pay, uh, variation 101, May June 2009, question number 9. This is an unique math. Um, this concept you should have uh, before you appear for O level exams. Okay. The question says at 10 hours, okay, 10 o'clock, a ship P leaves a point A with position vector this kilometer relative to an origin O where I is the unit vector due east and J is the unit vector due north. The ship sails northeast. That's pretty important. Northeast. Okay. Northeast with a speed of this is a speed not velocity. So be careful. And speed is given. The question is saying find the velocity. Okay. Now you should know what is unit um, Velocity. Unit velocity uh, means that one unit, the uh, magnitude of the velocity is one, but it represents the direction, which way it's going. Okay. I'll just show you this one because it has this and it's going direction northeast. Now look at this northeast. This is east, this is north. So northeast going this way. Okay. Northeast. This is northeast. So this is 45 degree. This is 45 degree. If you if you think for a second, this is actually the x uh, the line y equal to x, where x and y is the same. So north is that's gonna be this vector is gonna be actually i plus j or one i equal to one j. So this is this is the vector. Okay, it's moving. Uh, this direction the ship is moving northeast direction so unit vector over here should be uh, 1 i that means i plus j over the magnitude of that 1 square plus 1 square that's square root 2 so this is going to be 1 by square root 2 i plus 1 by square root j okay that's the unit vector towards northeast and this ship A is traveling with a speed of that. So velocity of ship P equals to, that's 10 root 2 times this unit vector, this direction. It's going towards this direction. Direction is same, but magnitude is different. So 1 by root 2 i plus 1 by root 2 j. When I multiply that, square root to square root cancel out. So it's going to be 10 i plus 10 J okay so that is the velocity of P towards northeast okay so that's 10 and of course it has kilometer per hour okay the position vector of P at 12 hours now it's saying find uh, the the position the formula goes like that final of P is initial position of P plus velocity of P times time now initial position I have it over here minus 4i plus 8j okay that's initial position of P and the velocity we got it here okay in question number one 10i plus 10j okay and time uh, the position vector of P at 12 hours okay so that means from 10 to 12, I hope you can understand that's 2 hours. So it's 2. When you take the bracket off, it's going to be minus 4i plus 8j plus 20i plus 20j. When I take that, multiply this. So 20i minus 4j, that's 16i. And over here, 8 plus 20, that's 28j. So that's my position vector position vector final position at 12 of p okay now coming to the second part of the question at 12 hours be careful 12 hours 10 hours so you need to pay attention to this time a second ship q now not we are not talking about p we are talking uh, talking about q leaves a point b so it's completely different not point a it's different point with the position vector what what this this position vector means it's initial position of Q that's 19 I plus 34 J okay 
kilometers traveling with the velocity. Now velocity is given, not the speed like p, not the speed is given. This is velocity which is given. So we don't need to calculate this. That find the velocity of p relative to q. Now we know that velocity of p relative to q equal to velocity of p minus velocity of q. So velocity of p, we have this 10 i plus 10 j. Okay minus velocity of uh, velocity of p is this and velocity of q is given this 8i plus 6j okay when I take the bracket off so it's gonna be um, 2i 10 let, let me just take the bracket off first okay then we're gonna do the calculation minus 8i then it's going to be minus 6j so 10i these are like terms 10i minus 8i that's going to be 2i plus 10j minus 6j that's going to be plus 4j and that's the velocity of p relative to q okay now hence or otherwise so i can use the previous answer or otherwise find the time at which p and q meet Okay, they are meeting, so uh, they're going to be at the same place at the same time. And the position vector of the point where this happened, so position position vector of that particular place. Okay, so according to the question, final velocity, uh, final position of P equals to final position of Q. Okay, remember it's after 12, so I cannot take the position vector of A at 10 o'clock. Position vector of A at 12 o'clock was this. So it's going to be initial that is going to be 16i plus 28j. Okay. And we do know that the velocity of the ship P was 10i plus 10j. And that's T over here and point okay where they meet so a t is not given and uh, at 12 its um, position vector was 19 that's b 19 i plus 34 j and its velocity was 8 i plus 6 j over t then if i take the bracket off okay just doing a little bit faster okay mental math 16 i 10 i t so it's gonna be 16 plus 10 t i and over here 28 plus 10 t j same way over here 19 plus 8 t i plus 34 plus 6 t j now equate the coefficient uh, coefficient of i is this on the left hand side and i is on the right hand side coefficient is this and the coefficient of j on the right hand left hand side is this and right hand side is this okay equate the coefficient equate the coefficients 16 plus 10 t equal to 19 plus 8 t if I bring this 80 over here, so 10t minus 80 is 2t. And if I take 16, that size 19 minus 16, that's 3. So t equal to 3 by 2 or 1.5. Now, see, I have uh, t over here as well. Since they meet, this t has to be same. If they don't, say, they don't become same, then they won't meet. Uh, I don't need to show it this, this part. But I'm showing you uh, so that you understand what I'm talking about. 28 plus 10t equal to 34 plus 60. So if you bring this one over here, it's going to be 10t minus 60, that's 40. And 34 minus 28, that's going to be 6. Here, t equal to 3 by 2 or 1.5. See these two match? If any question, um, if any question they are asking, find out if they are uh, the, the uh, ship P and ship uh, 
you are meeting or not then what are you going to do you're going to make the position vector same uh, position vector same and see the time is same or not they can be at the same place but if time is not the same then they are not going to meeting okay so uh, that was the questions what, what what in this question asking but it says the time okay uh, the time at which not not uh, how long it takes okay at 12 hours uh, they start so 12 plus 12 plus 1.5 that means 30 minutes that's going to be you can write down 13 30 or you can keep it as uh, uh, 12 hour um, 1 1 1 30 p.m. okay that's in 12 hour clock and that's um, uh, uh, sorry this is 12 uh, 24 hour clock this is 12 hour clock okay okay now we have to find out the position vector so since uh, final position vector of P and Q are the same it doesn't matter which one I choose let me choose uh, P okay so final or uh, final position vector of P so I'm gonna write down that P okay equals to 16 plus 10 times 1.5 1.5 that's I plus over here I have 28 plus 10 times 1.5 J just using the calculator 16 times 10 times 1.5 that's oops 16 plus 10 times 1.5 that's supposed to be 31 I plus 28 and this is plus 1 uh, 15 that's going to be 43 J okay so that's my position vector of both P and Q uh, sheet P and Q and this is the time uh, in 24 hour clock is this and 12 hour clock is this okay hopefully uh, you understand this most of the uh, vector uh, relative velocities uh, questions are done in this last three videos uh, if you still have some question uh, leave your question in the uh, comment box okay i'll get back to you thank you have a good day